Hi Pisces and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are a Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or however Pisces placements may show up on your astrological natal chart, these messages are for you. And today I'll be channeling messages focusing on what blessings or energies are coming in your direction in the month of May. But first, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Alexa Taro and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. For those of you who are interested in learning more about me, my client testimonials, or if you're interested in learning more about my credentials, just take a look down below in the description box and click on that credentials link. For those of you who are my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, I want to thank each and every one of you for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. Um, I greatly appreciate it. If you can, don't forget that these are free channeled messages. And the only thing I ask in return is if you could please give me a thumbs up, like, share, or subscribe so that I know that you are enjoying these free channeled messages. And if you haven't done so already, turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content upload. Pisces, today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what blessings or energies you are pulling in your direction or what blessings are coming in your direction, okay? Potential blessings here. Um, I'm also going to be channeling messages in the love sector as well as in your career or finances as well, okay? But first, I'm going to take a look and channel messages here um, in regards to your overall energy or the overarching energy here in the month of may all right so let's add additional blessings here by taking a look at what is coming out for you here from this charm bag and we have here oh a bat interesting you have a bat here i feel here um because the first thing I heard Clara audiently is echolocation. And then I got family. So I got two things here. So I'll talk about both. Number one, um, I feel here that even though you have not been maybe in the past or recent past, or maybe something here in the month of um, May, something here that you may not be seeing clearly. I forgot to turn on my other light here. Give me one second. Something here that you may feel um, that you haven't seen clearly, because remember, bats can't see. They are able to move around and to find out where things are through echolocation. So I feel it here there's something that either you haven't seen in the past or recent past that may be a little clearer here in the month of May. And it's because you're going to be using either another skill or another resource here in order to figure something out for some of you here it's like you're going to use your voice your 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 skill set it's either you're good at speaking or you're good at proving a point there's something here having to do with communication it's coming in very strongly here with us I'm also getting here family because bats are very, very much of a community type of animal. So they bond with their family. I'm getting for some of you here that this clarity that you may be getting or that you may be enlightened on may come through a dream at nighttime or through a state when you are at a relaxed meditative state. It could be at nighttime for some of you. For others of you, it's like you're a night owl. So there's something here that maybe some idea or a spark or a revelation here or a download or illumination here may occur either through a dream through talking with someone about something and it's like, oh, wow, that's interesting. I didn't think about it in that way. And then kind of like that, that's how it's coming across. For others of you, it's coming across as family bond. There's a sense here of, and family doesn't always have to be blood family. It could, but it could also be talking about a spouse, a partner, 
your best friend, your, your social circle here. Let's see what else is coming through for you here as your overarching energy. And you have here the Queen of Cups. Yeah, look at that. Intuition. Intuition and emotions here. In the month of May, Pisces, there's this feeling that I'm getting here for you in regards to you intuitively. And remember that I said to you at the top of the, I make it literally, this is like the queen of cups to show you Pisces. It's coming across as if you're going to use your intuition. Now, of course you're a Pisces intuition. It makes sense. You're highly intuitive because you are a Pisces, but there's something here having to do with your intuition or your yin energy, your heart being guided by that. Remember that I said at the top of the reading here, Pisces, that I was getting here for you with this um, bat, that you're going to use a resource here, or you're going to use a skill here. It's like you're going to use it to your advantage. And that is somehow going to bring some clarity here of some sorts. For some of you, it's clarity in your love life. For others of you, it's clarity either in career and finances or perhaps maybe your spiritual journey. But the Queen of Cups here is, is someone who is um, nurturing, compassionate, loving. You may be embodying here the Queen of Cups energy here as a, bl a potential blessing here in the month of May. And it says here, I trust my knowing and follow my heart. There's something here, um, Pisces, of your intuition and you allowing it to continue to guide you here in the month of May. And that guidance here may happen through either you talking to your higher self through meditation, prayer, or visualization, or you speaking with someone else or someone giving you advice, but there's something here with communication coming through. You may be even, um, you may even get, like I said, at the top of the reading here, you may get a communication here during your dreams or something that you feel in your gut level. It's like you feel it at, at, at a gut level type of energy and you're going to run with it because it may not logically make sense. It's like, it's all about your yin energy. It's you allowing something to flow through you in order for you to see it, but not with your physical eyes. It's more like spiritually or energetically or like your six senses here. Let's see how that may resonate here. Look at that self-love and self-worth. Yeah. Here in your love sector, Pisces, you have here self-love. And the queen of cups, and don't worry about the fact that it says queen, because queen is just that co-creation energy. It's like you co-creating with your higher self. You co-creating with the universe. You being able to co-create with that energy from within in order for you to shift your energy into a more self-love type of energy here. There's something here like your self-image is going to be stronger or there's something here that like you're going to value yourself more. If it's not you valuing yourself and giving yourself the self-care that you may need or be longing for here during Taurus season, because remember, Taurus season is ruled by Venus. And Venus is all that kind of that Venetian energy is beauty. It's, it's sensuality. It's self-care. It's abundance. It's prosperity. It's feeling and kind of even experiencing the luxuries of life, the riches of life. And you may be pampering yourself more than the usual, or maybe take carve out time for yourself to pamper yourself here. But I'm getting pampering, like pampering. So it's either your partner or your friends or family are going to pamper you, or you are just going to kind of really slip into this energy of more, um, 
you know, more self-love and self-care. Like bubble baths or, you know, going shopping or, you know, just spending some time in, in your man cave or something. Or others of you kind of, you know, going out there and being in your she sheds or something. You know, like that type of energy is what I'm getting here. You also have here self-worth. There's something here about you really opening up your heart and your energy to you. Which is interesting because this love sector is, you know, you know, love. It could be self-love, of course. But it's interesting because yours is coming as self-love, just like Scorpio's um, message was really about themselves. It wasn't about other people. And this, this is how this is coming across. It's like all about you in the love sector. So there could be this kind of self-love type of energy or vibration here. Yeah, King of Swords. Remember that I was talking about communication here? King of Swords, someone who's able to express the truth about something. For some of you, this is how it's coming across. It's like you having a conversation with friends, family, loved ones, maybe your partner, that you need a little bit more R&R &R, or you need to really kind of focus on your me time. Because it's coming across as maybe you're putting a lot of time, effort, and energy to other things or other people. And there's a sense here of you kind of, in a way, emotionally detaching yourself from some things here in your love sector so that you can carve out that me time or carve out this time where you take the moment, maybe through daily affirmations, maybe through self-care, maybe through pampering, maybe through meditation, maybe doing something that you love and that brings the sense of awareness and stillness. And that, in a way, it's like an, an, an intelligent or strategic way of you bringing it up here in the month of May. And with the King of Swords, remember the King of Swords, no matter, it doesn't matter the fact that it says Kings, this is all about, it's not about gender, it's about energy. And it's about you having the mastery of how to intelligently and strategically here talk about something, mention something, or think about something that has to put you at the top of the, of the, of the, you know, kind of like at the top of the pyramid here. I don't know what that may mean here for some of you, but it's coming across like to kind of really make sure that you understand that. And for some people, you know, you just might have to sound a little bit, now you don't have to, but you may sound, I should say. You may sound a little bit harsh and cold to some people, but remember, sometimes you placing clear, healthy boundaries may come across to some people as you being mean or rude, and it's not that. A no means no. And a no may mean saying no to something because it may be depleting you and you may not be even be able to recognize it. But here in the month of May, what's coming through is the blessing of knowing how to emotionally detach yourself from whatever this situation, circumstance, or event may be that may be coming up in May, or that may be a pattern of behavior that you've always had and you're stepping in and saying, you know what, I need to do X, Y, and Z because I need to think about myself, right? It's like you putting yourself first here in the month of May and not really caring about how other people may take it because the King of Swords is very blunt, okay? The King of Swords is like, listen, this is how it is. And yes, you know, and it, you know, and you might have to go there with someone. You might have to, you know, maybe a, a friend, a family member, a loved one, maybe your partner, maybe your spouse. But there's this sense of you saying, listen, you know, I need my time to recalibrate. Or you know what, today I'm not in the mood for X, Y, and Z, so I'm not doing X, Y, and Z, you know? 
instead of people pleasing, there's more of like healthy boundaries that you may be placing or reinforcing, okay? So it might be, you know, one or two things here. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I may be coming here across like that to some people. They might not like it, but it is what it is. You're still a loving person. You're still a good-hearted person. But you may have to be a little bit more um, kind of in your face here if if you get a pushback here. Look at that. Look what just popped out of the deck by itself. Exactly what I was saying. Look at that. You have the resting tree and you have illumination and enlightenment. Now, this area is about work or career or finances. And look what you're getting. You may be overworking yourself. And here in the month of May, that's coming down for you. This is telling you to slow down. Just as easy as I was saying it before. This is exactly what's coming in for you. Okay, it might be telling you to slow down. It's time for you to take a, a break. You have the number 2-2 two, two here. Angel number 2-2 two, two coming in for you. There's something here that you may be waiting for or that it's telling you that energetically here that there is something that you need to be a little bit more patient on and as I you as you sit and wait for this patience or a, as you tap into that patience and you kind of dive deep into your intuition your queen of cups energy you the, okay so this is how this is coming across the more that you're able to slow down and create moments throughout your day where you can emotionally energetically mentally or in some way shape or form disengage from something having to do with work or finances or career the moment you're able to disengage from that it's as if you're going to um kind of lean more to your queen of cups energy and be more attuned with your intuition and this is where this may be coming up for you because it says the queen of the light. There's some type of illumination, enlightenment, or a sense of an aha moment. Because look at all this beautiful energy that's surrounding the crown chakra and the palm of this person's hands. So there's the sense here of you getting some type of download, some of, of an aha moment here in regards something, uh, in something, something connected here to your job, career, or finances. It's as if something here is going to come out. Wow, look at that. I'll talk about this in a moment. It's as if as you take this moment to either be patient, to create stillness or quiet for yourself, this silent kind of energy around yourself, maybe at the, at the beginning of the day or at the end of your day, where you're able to align your energy is as if you have a greater connection with your higher self and whatever this is in your career finance sector is as if you're going to be able to understand it a whole lot better because you'll be more aligned to your intuition. You also have here the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is about that mastery of something is that focus, is that strong work ethic. Now, this is good because this is talking about an achievement. You could kind of like the end result is like you're going to achieve something here through hard work or through patience, determination, and consistency. But on the other side of it, just be aware that whatever that you may be working on you may have to wait to see some type of results or you may have to wait a little longer in order for you to see this achievement. For others of you, you're going to see this success or achievement because of your strong work ethic and your mastery and focus. And you may see that here in the month of May. And that's why you're getting here the Queen of Cups. There's a sense of you feeling really great about it, really good about it. As if your intuition here had helped you. For some of you, this is like the energy of, I'm getting here like I'm hearing confirmation. So for some of you, there's something that you have been feeling instinctively 
and I'm pointing to both the, the bat and the queen of cups, something here instinctively you have been feeling having to do with your job or your finances. And it's like you're finally going to get a clear sign symbol synchronicity or serendipitous event that's going to give you that validation confirmation about the patience and consistency that you've been applying to something here. And the queen of light is also about celebration. So like I said, some of you are going to be celebrating here either whatever this eight of pentacles may be about. This hard work, dedication, and perseverance here. Either a promotion, more money. So others of you are going to see it in May and others of you may have to kind of wait a little longer. But listen, whatever it is, it's coming. It's coming. So this is beautiful. All right. All right, Pisces. I hope these messages have been insightful. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.